Well, some Philadelphia residents have complained about calling 911 and no one answers, or the response is slower than it should be. Eyewitness News reporter Ross DeMattei joins us now from the Roundhouse after pressing police and dispatchers union for answers. Ross. That's right, Yuki. You know, when you're experiencing an emergency, every second matters, and the response time could be the difference between life and death. So when we heard that the city was slow to respond to some 911 calls, we wanted to find out why. If you dial that number and nobody answers, what are you supposed to do? Last week, we heard from residents in Philadelphia's Fairmount neighborhood who say their 911 calls are often going unanswered or are met with a slower response time. We took those concerns to the union representing the city's dispatchers. No, no. Do not. Do not believe that calls aren't being answered. Calls, calls are being answered. President of local 1637 Gordon Zimmett doesn't deny 911 response times are lagging. Sometimes when there's uh, when there's multiple incidents, especially at the same time, different you know different times of the day, what will happen is everyone calls and sometimes it, it does it does take longer than than expected. At the heart of the problem, Zimmett says there is a shortage of 911 dispatchers. Right now, there are a total of 278. He says that number should be closer to 350. We're still 75 short. We have a lot of people working double and some double shifts. And, you know, it does, it does take a toll. When you combine the shortage of dispatchers with a higher volume of calls, he says it compounds the problem. The problem sometimes is the retainment. Last year, we had 108 dispatchers hired. Only 51 retained. Being overworked, you know, some of these, some of these individuals are here 12 hours. Some are here 14, 16 hours, and sometimes, you know, it takes a toll on people. Still, Zimmett insists all 911 calls are being answered as long as you're willing to wait. Please do not hang up. Continue to call 911. Your call will be answered. It will be answered. Now, the city and the union tell us that response times are improving and they are hiring more dispatchers, but with each new hire, they require about four to six weeks of training, so they're asking for more patience. We're live in Center City, Ross DeMatte, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Ross, thank you.